also investigating leaks as it relates to as it relates to Russia. Now, you know, as you know, uh, just recently I found out, last week I found out that there was additional uh, information uh, that came uh, forward to me that had nothing to do with Russia, but has everything to do with whether or not Americans were masked properly or, in fact, unmasked. And I'm very concerned about By that. surveillance. Now, the Trump-Russia story now exists in three different realities. That was House Intelligence Chairman Devin Nunez on O'Reilly a few minutes ago. He's saying he has seen strong evidence that President Trump was spied upon by the Obama administration, but none that the Trump campaign colluded with the Russian government. Meanwhile, Democratic Congressman Mark Pocan of Wisconsin says he has seen, quote, damning evidence of collusion between Russia and the Trump campaign, but he says journalists will likely publish it in the near future. The rest of us are stuck in a third reality with no proof for either claim. Perhaps Congressman Pocan can change that. He is on the set tonight. Congressman, good to see you. Yeah, thank you, Tucker. Glad to be here. So the concern here, I think, on the left and on the right, too, and my concern is that all of this stuff undermines people's faith in a system that is built on faith, essentially. So given that, does it really help to say, for either side, Republicans, too, I've seen secret documents I can't tell you about. We're going to wait till it's leaked. Why don't we just all be quiet? until the evidence emerges. Well, or I think what two-thirds of the people in America want, let's have an independent commission come in, it's in the best interest of everyone, and get this resolved so we can move on with things. But th the problem is you you've got the classified document by 17 intelligence agencies that I've read and reread parts of it. Uh, you've got the separate dossier by some British person I don't even refer to, although some of those things have been proven to be true. And then you've got some work that journalists are doing, things like uh, what they had around the Attorney General, that he indeed had some contact during the campaign and you're right there's a lot of information out there right now but that's why it's in everyone's best interest to have an independent commission separate from Congress come in and take a look at all of this and then we can move on and that's what the public's really but, asking but you for. know what's really going on which is the NSA the National Security Agency has all the data on everything they've tapped into the trunk lines every email communication in the United States every phone call maybe some of our thoughts are being recorded and stored by the NSA. So they know exactly the degree to which the Russians interfered or didn't, the degree to which the president was spied upon during the campaign or not. Why doesn't the Intel Committee in the House and the Senate say, produce documents now? Now. Yeah, well, and the president should say that too. And it would have worked perfectly that way had, especially on the House side, the head of the Intel Committee not um, kind of stumbled uh, through this process. And the fact that, you know, just last week he, you know, is getting documents on White House grounds and then he's announcing and giving to the White House the next day. I mean, he's, he's put himself in a point where he's going to have to recuse himself from all this, which is why an independent commission, which is exactly what the American public wants, makes the most sense. Because it's in okay. the best interest for the Trump administration, right? If, if there's nothing to have be had out there, then let's have that independent commission no, come let's, in. Let's be honest. I mean, look, I've had Schiff on this show, Congressman Schiff mm -hmm. of Burbank, who's on the Intel Committee, yep, so. and I asked a couple pretty normal questions. I thought, like, where's the evidence, for example? And he called me an agent of the Kremlin. <laughs> this is clearly a guy who's totally partisan, which shouldn't surprise us. Congress is about partisanship. So why are we pretending we're surprised that Nunez is a Democrat and Schiff yeah, I mean, is a Republican and Schiff is a Democrat? I mean, like, this is what it is, but we can still get information, can't we? And why don't we wait until it's actually produced? But that, I would argue, is exactly why you want an independent commission to come in and take advantage of uh, looking at it without having the partisanship. Because I, I think the American public, you rarely see, you know, 66% say they want to do something like this because there is so much information. I mean, I can tell you from what I've read, uh, there, anyone who read the classified report, including people like John McCain and plenty of others, your natural reaction should should not be to say, let's lift sanctions. And yet that's exactly what the Trump administration did. So I think what we had got some concerns, that was way before we found out all the connections between campaign people on the Trump campaign, but administration officials. Maybe he thought our Russia policy was silly. I mean, he said that in every speech that I, and I covered a lot of his speeches. He said, look, we can make common cause. And I can the tell you, if you had the opportunity, I, Tucker, I wish you'd join me. And I've asked for that classified report to be declassified because I think you can take away where our sources came from. I think that's the biggest concern in the intelligence community has and show all that information that I've seen because let's let the American people make the decision okay. and have an independent but commission. But I, I, you know what, I don't think I need to be in the Intel Committee to be convinced. So why don't you explain to me precisely how the Russians alter the outcome of that election and if they were so deeply involved, what happened in California, for example? They don't get Russian propaganda there. Why did Hillary win by almost 4 million votes if it was that effective an operation, win the popular vote? Yeah, so I think the, parts, I get it, the parts that have been unclassified have clearly said, the intelligence community has said, 
said that the Russian government, uh, led by Putin, specifically interfered with the election. They wanted Donald Trump to win, and a lot of the details is some of the stuff that's still going to come out and is still coming out. But you've got to admit, you look at this. Well, I'll just and name one. That's it. It's all I want. Look, foreign governments try to interfere with every single process in American life all the time, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. They're everywhere. They're con they but, live in my neighborhood. But we've never had anyone interfere with the U.S. election but like Russia has right now. How exactly did Russian activity move a single vote? And do we have evidence that? You don't need to have yeah. access to classified documents yeah. to know that. But actually, you do. I think some of the information that's... Can you give me a hint? No, because like I, in I've, I've sworn in oath. Means. That's part of the I thing. Mean, so, so here's what I... I went on the floor of Congress and said, let's declassify that report. Because if uh, we can, again, protect the sources, which I think is the main concern they have, let the American people see everything and the make the decision. I, I get all that. And well, I understand... Well, the allegation is what the intelligence community said. They have come in and done through multiple ways try to influence the election. But name one that actually had any effect. That's it. You don't need to have any classified information revealed to say that. You could well, say, you well, you do. In some cases, you do. How about That's any case at all? Tucker, I, I wish um, you could read the classified report. I wish the American people could because I think if they saw that and the new information that journalists are coming out, like Jeff Session, who lied to Congress saying that he never uh, met with any Russian officials and, oh, maybe two or three times. Oh, the meeting that was set up by did. the Obama administration at the Republican convention? I'm talking about the two or three yeah, the one that was set up by the Obama administration. At the Republican convention when multiple people yeah, from... by the Obama State Department set up that meeting. When multiple so people <laughs> had the <laughs> context. Like, so well, dumb. But, but how about the idea that when FBI, FBI Director Comey said that uh, the Trump administration has been under investigation because of collusion? That means something. Now, I wish we would have known that before the election. Well, it means it a might lot have been more of things, helpful. but I don't, I don't think, whatever, that's a whole well, separate conversation. That's me, why the independent this, commission this is, is me crazy. the smartest way to proceed. We need an independent commission because we need to safeguard our elections. I think you've sponsored mm -hmm. legislation to that effect, too. Yes. There's no evidence in the public view that shows a single vote changed by Russian interference. There's a ton of evidence showed that votes have been changed and affected because we don't have voter ID laws in a lot of states. Well, so if I, you really care, I would actually about, disagree with you that I, I, you I, I got polit affected on that in one. In the city so, of Detroit, I'll I give said you one my statement based on the numbers was you're more likely to get struck by lightning than commit voter fraud. No, and I got a true out of polit fact. They don't like to give out truths because the reality what does that is. What even mean in the city of Detroit in the 2016 election, one third more votes were cast? Then there were registered voters. But so, like, that happens on a regular basis because you have new voters and people who move get considered a new that, voter. That, that that's, may be, that may be that's how the numbers right. work. No, no, that's, that's just how the whole process is. That's not a damning statistic. Well, it might be or it might not be. We don't know. And we also don't know well, why I, a certain number of dead people vote to this day so, in states across the country. So, like, why would you have a voter ID law? I don't get that. Well, I, if if I, don't, so I don't know how a voter ID law would change Russia interfering with our elections. If you but I do so think if you had an independent... The then let's have the independent commission come in and see if Russia indeed had <laughs> fake voters coming in. I don't think they're going to find that. But let's go ahead. If that's, your, if that's your idea... Of people voting who shouldn't have voted. I don't think it was millions of them. I don't agree with the president on that. But I there were certainly think, a lot of them. But you don't if think, you care, why not shut that down? But, Tucker, don't you think if two-thirds of the American public and leaders in both parties think in an independent commission we'll makes back to the commission again. Pardon? We're well, back to the commission again. Okay, you're let's for the commission. So let's okay. get the facts. I mean, I, I have facts I, here. I know you want to go to, to you want to change the subject to photo ID, but I would much no, rather no, talk no, about it's, it's the same theme, which is how do we protect how can you allow, our fragile system? But how can you allow converted? another government to interfere with your elections because you provide not no have evidence consequences? They did, and not one person has provided one piece of evidence. The evidence that affected the will outcome, continue to come out I here every night, nine to ten Eastern, and you're welcome to join. The second you get that, join me in asking for that to be declassified. Sure, I'm sure you'll leak it to someone soon. Anyway, I can't wait to we'll talk about it. We'll get the information. We'll get the information. Thank you, Congressman. Good to see you. Thank you.